for different reasons. Some of them, somebody already learned Chinese medicine, they find this too easy. Somebody maybe know nothing about Chinese medicine, find it just difficult to understand. I try my best. But anyway, so this is the first one. I'll try to explain how Chinese medicine works. But I'm, I'm trying to write the next one. It's about, not about explaining Chinese medicine work. It's about the medicine, what we do. For example, tea as a medicine. Just explain to you. What is red tea? What is green tea? What is different tea for what? And it's like, you, you, you want to eat rice. Why rice is better than wheat? Why? And why, you know, you drinking some that should people eat more salad? But other people say, don't eat salad. So this is all come to as a medicine. So I explain to medicine. But maybe the last one I'm going to try to do right is about the, the, the patient, patient cases, which is very fascinating. Lots of people come to me, very strange problem. The doctor try everything, you know, they're, they're very good for many things. But sometimes they're, 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 they're not responding to all the some treatment. When come here, simple ones, well, it's like a miracle. I said, nothing miracle. Just because we just toot. It's like turning your something in the body. And once you're turning, so your body goes slightly completely different direction. And then the healing will start. Yeah, this both ways. If you turn the wrong direction, you get trouble start. So that is what about the changing medicine. So you need so people say, oh changing medicine now there's a why about why don't you research changing medicine? I said, of course, I'm a hundred percent support research. That's why also my dear friend Dr. Professor Ma and Jen and Dr. Xu all in King's College and Oxford and have many universities start to research in Chinese medicine. But I think before <coughs> the completed successful research, we need to be on the we we'll go back to the basic. We don't I don't want people to lose this great wisdom of seeing things in a way of more balanced way or more holistic way to and then that is I think maybe in this modern sort of world of modern society we need this back to the basic sort of knowledge and then all the wisdom to come back even the COVID you know people think oh COVID what do you do you know I said before it's not simply the virus it's also about our immune system and about our heat and the cold so people say, oh, what about the immune system with heat and cold? In fact, do you know why you get infection? Well, first thing you do, you got a temperature rising. Is that right? You fever. Why you fever? It's because the race, the temperature higher can raise white blood cells. If you have one degree of the temperature rising about increasing 10 to 20% of the white blood cells in your blood. So therefore, if we can help those people, you know, get a balance of the temperature, <laughs> Also, were great help for the fighting with infection to help the immune system. So that is why, you know, I'm a very much, you know, traditional doctor. Uh, you know, I, I'm very much. That's why people come to me. You know, I used always traditional Chinese medicine, and uh, I hardly give them any diagnosis of the Western medicine because I'm not expert. I don't want to be pretend I'm expert in Western medicine. But in Chinese medicine. So the real Chinese doctor, we will teach them, we will show people where the balance has gone, where is the problem. So if you, if you follow that principle, I think you'll get somewhere. This is a, this, this has been testing for many thousand years. So I can, I, I can say it can't be too wrong. Maybe it need, need to be getting improved, but in principle, it's good. Okay, so this is, a, this is, a, this is what I'm trying to, to write about Chinese medicine. Uh, hopefully, you know, and with people like you to come to support. So maybe, you know, the world, you know, we can, it is now that the, this century, or I think next, for the next hundred years, is we share the world, the knowledge, the wisdom. In the old East and the West, you know, block, this East block, West block, Chinese block, or American block, or fight each other. I think it is, a, it is not anymore that good. So now we need everyone to share you know, and share everything, share knowledge, because we only have one world. So we save the world, we save our body for good health. Otherwise, if, if another pandemic comes, what happens? You're going to serious trouble. 
So therefore, we need to get food in the food pilots. So I think that's probably have a little talk about this. And uh, is there any question you want to ask me? Yes? I, I thank you very much, first of all, for inviting us to join this such a grand event. Okay. Uh, congratulations for the launch thank of you. your book. Um, I think uh, it's very important to, 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 to understand Chinese medicine um, as a wisdom. Yeah. Okay, I agree with what you guys who have been talking about this. And the wisdom, the knowledge, there is wisdom. I'm very impressed by the title of your book. <laughs> I, I want to know how you get to this. My understanding, okay? Uh, reasoning is very important, but I only realized this when I come to the UK, actually. Because uh, if you have uh, children who want to go to high school, they will need to learn uh, verb, verb reasoning and non-verb reasoning, correct? This is something quite new, because in China, students are not really examined, trained in this, okay? So, what's reasoning? Reasoning is the way of interpreting and understanding things, and different culture, people from different culture have different ways of looking at the, the same thing, correct? Can you tell us why you choose this title? Well, yes. <laughs> that's a very good question. <laughs> well, simply, it's not because I have a dream the day before and tend to get a come out of it. Because I've been trying to teach for all these years, yeah. as you know. I've been teaching here for more than 30 years. So I've teaching in China. So, so with my teaching of, of uh, experience for all this, you know, whether, whether they're studying at Chinese medicine, whether they're doctors, I teach many doctors in Italy, in France, and anywhere. So, and or I teach many public. I just give a lot of lectures in libraries. I give many library teaching. So I teach people and it's a Chinese medicine. I feel, you know, and the possibility because of the, I feel the Chinese medicine, we have many people want to try to explain Chinese medicine in a scientific way, but often come to fail. So, and then they come out, people disprove Chinese medicine because, oh, you are nonsense, no scientific. But I said, no, no, you get, you get wrong. Chinese medicine is not developed on the Chinese, on the Western medicine base, scientific basis. Because Western science is only about 500 years history. Chinese medicine is more than 1,000, 1,000 years history. So you cannot go back time to say, why 3,000 years ago, when you invent Chinese medicine, why no science based? No, that's not such a thing. <coughs> that means we are not. We can do that. Because in those times, people were just thinking, people, you know, just use logical, logical all these analyze. So I feel the Chinese medicine, for me, I think the best way to explain to people Chinese medicine is for that reason, why we do this. And, and, and the reason actually is common sense, because you are in your lifetime. You know that everything follow the, follow the science. The many things is common sense. You know, when you're hungry, you eat. When you're thirsty, you, you drink. You know, say, oh, let's take you, check your, you know, your body blood sugar, how, how low you are, start eating. No, you don't need that. You got, you got, you got a feeling, don't you? So this, we don't need a science to tell you how to eat, how to drink, or how to, how to do this. That's all common sense. So that's why the human, whatever God made us, or whatever we, we are, as we are, we have this sort of DNA in our blood. We have, we have in ourselves. So the things can make us to think to understand, to logic, I don't know. So that is perhaps the base of Chinese medicine in the initial place, how to develop in the first place. I hope this one, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Okay, what's your question? I'm going to take advantage. Go ahead. I'm here and ask uh, a health-related question. Go ahead. So I'm a little confused, I think, because you talked about um, the heat and then the cold in the body. So for instance, um, I thought, I, I agree with you, I have too much heat in my body because my palms sweat in yep. certain circumstances, like when I'm under stress or when I'm feeling in a hot environment yep. right now. So that, that, is, that is heat, right? Too much heat. Yeah. How, is, uh, how does this work if, for instance, my knees are <coughs> um, cold? Mm. Yeah. So what, what's going on with, with yeah. this? This is what we call flow of heat. Mm -hmm. So what it means, you're holding the heat and cold. You know when we see the yin yang symbol, you're like half and half. Mm -hmm. Half in, half in. So that means we have to match it, so mix together. But if something separate, 
So that means the heat starts bloating, just like a balloon, too light. So the, the, the cold can't hold him on, the water can't hold him. So that's why your top part of the body or some part of the body become heated, and the other part of the body become cold. So that's the answer. So therefore, it is out of balance. So not, not, not exactly we call them the real heat, but floating heat. No problem. Yeah. Okay. And um, you know when you feel the your pulse, yes. So, so, what is that telling you? What are you looking for? What are you? Okay. What is that um, leading okay. you to? When we feel when we feel the pulse, Chinese people say we have twenty eight hundred pulses mm -hmm. in our body. Mm -hmm. So, um, from both sides, three of the fingers each indicate different part, different organ, different things. Now, what do we do when we feel the pulse? We feel the pulse, for example, because like Western doctor said. Feel how speed, how fast, you know, and it's 70 minutes, 17 times per minute, or 100 times per minute. We don't, we can feel that. And then, secondly, we, we can feel the reg, reg, irregularity. How regular or how irregular? It's like a bum, 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 or bum, 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 or bum. So it can be different. So, regular regularity. But also, this is normal doctor will do. Will do. But, but Western doctors don't. Don't don't see your strength of a pulse. So that's all the lack of you don't say, oh your pulse is strong or weak. So they don't and maybe they do. When you people really dying, the pulse is very weak. So but that's no good when you're dying. So 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 the pulse is weak. And also we know where it's weak. So that's what you can you can feel. But also more than that, we can tell we can feel the like the quality of blood. Because if you imagine, if you use a hand, we say have a, have a, if without close your eyes, without your touch, you touch, you touch water, you touch oil, you touch jelly, you will know, don't you? Because you get different feeling. So therefore, if your blood is very thick, very thin, you, you, you will know. Because just like you touch the water, or jelly, or oil. So therefore, that's why we come have a pulse. We call it rolling pulse, slippery pulse, wiry pulse, tight pulse. So all these pulse, just simply describe the type of the pulse, how you feel. So therefore, from those information, plus the tongue, plus what you tell me, plus I know you, all these things, I say, okay, I know what's wrong with you. Where's the heat, or where's the cold, or where's the damp, or if, if you have. So that's how we judge. So I got all my secret for all these years. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need to see any doctor, don't see it anymore, you know everything. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Any more? <coughs> in, in a minute. Oh, thank you. Thank you. In a minute. In a minute, I will sign this. Okay. And if if there's a, any more question you want to want to ask? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, the scientists. The um, how did they work out the Chinese clock? Chinese clock. The Chinese clock. You know the body clock. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know how it works and what, at what time it is, but how did they work it out? Um, and the other question. Taoism, part of Chinese medicine, Chinese medicine, part of Taoism. Okay. Let me answer the second part first. The Taoism, obviously, is a part of the Chinese culture, Chinese sort of uh, philosophy. And, uh, and uh, it's obviously, you know, in China, I can say, it's a kind of guiding philosophy for many Chinese things. Because the Taoism believe, you know, all these things come from nothing. So that's what I said. That's why in my book I said that zero is Tao. Zero means no, nothing. Tao. Tao means nothing. But nothing means everything. You know, sometimes I'll just say, say for example, oh, we want to more than not nothing. Do you really want to more? I think if I get nothing, it's best for you. You want no trouble, no no health problem, <laughs> no, no, no stress. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. You do want a yes, yes, trouble. Or you want to have an illness, you want a pain, you want everything? No. So you don't want, you don't, in fact, this philosophy says the better is no than the, than the yes, if you look philosophically. So Chinese, the Taoism, yes, have a, as according to the, the timeline, they do have a, some guidance on Chinese medicine development, such as this yin yang, this thing theory. But other way around, Chinese, many Taoist masters or Taoist sort of uh, knowledge also they understand Chinese medicine. So with Chinese medicine, enhance more the knowledge and the understanding of humans. 
So therefore, in fact, it's, it's mixed together. So there's no such a real definition. Okay, this is Chinese medicine and the Tao. In fact, many of the Tao's master in our history are good doctors. Or vice versa, are good doctors in the end have very good Tao's masters. So that's why we want to learn. What's the question? Okay, thank you very much for sharing the wisdom of Chinese medicine. My question, uh, I like the fact you use the word balance. Yeah. Chinese medicine is about balancing all the elements of the body. And how does that um, relate to the Western world is about balance? It's balancing your work, balancing your personal life, your community. How does Chinese medicine balance um, part of the like, death? Seven deadly sins, how to balance and how, how to balance them together. Second, second question Does Chinese medicine also incorporate uh, like Western idea of meditation and Western idea of the dieting? How, how does it all relate together? Sure, obviously, your question is quite big. How can I do the Western? <laughs> <laughs> do elect me to become a next prime minister? I will change everything. <laughs> I will change everything in this country. Those things are completely wrong. How to balance. So therefore, yes, if I'm if I'm a prime minister, if I'm lawmaker of this country, I will change many things. Because the, the balance is wrong. You know, and uh, not only health, the society, everything. But of course, I'm just joking. What I really want is that uh, yes, we do need to to be living wisely. You know, the wise men also living better. So it's not simply for money, it's not simply for status, where your social or financial status is very much your mind. So how you balance your mind, your body, your desire or reality, all these things, can you balance it out? So of course, that's why our world now in trouble. Why? Lots of them, because of the society out of balance. You know, we have a strike everywhere, we have a demonstration everywhere, war here, war there. So. In fact, if you really think about it, this is lots of things can be avoided if we are clever enough. But human always problem. We always make same mistake again, again, and again. What can I say? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. About the Chinese clock. Chinese clock. Now, Chinese clock because because you know because in, in the old time we don't have a clock like like this clock. We don't have a clock. We normally have a different ancient one, like mostly we, used to, we call it the water dripping, dripping. So you have a holding or something, when it's full, and the clock turns so just dripping, depending on how, how much dripping. So, but, and also, we are normally, in, in ancient time, we, we, we calculate what time is of the day we see the sun, okay? So therefore, and uh, so people have this developed this skill, we divide, let's say, 24 hours a day, we divide into two, time zones. So each zone cover two hours. So and each uh, each and of course within that zone you also divide further di further di 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 dividing. But so and uh, but how they sort of uh, discover that I think that's that's simply is Chinese way of looking the, the, the time in, in a way. So does nobody say who di discover this time zone or whatever. I think but they, they do have a very strong <coughs> sort of an influence to the health, even to the medicine and to the treatment. So there is a there is a there are some people who do acupuncture say, oh we need to do tiny acupuncture. So, which is fine. Yeah, some say in certain time we do this point. Other time we do that point. <coughs> okay, but I'm not going to too too deep because this is uh, some more people who learn acupuncture or something, you learn more time. But definitely the timing do affect health. If you know how to know timing things, you're better. That probably goes to the Western medicine too. Nowadays, the drugs give, in the same drugs, give the same patient a different time, perhaps have a different effect. Is that right? Yeah, you are, you are pharmacologists. You are, you are doctors. Yeah, that's true? Yeah. Okay, maybe, that's not too many questions because people have, that's, that's not easy. <laughs>